This is the GAT. An air pistol manufactured by TJ Harrington and son out of Walton in Surrey from the 1930s to about the mid 1990s. And this particular pistol is well over 30 years old. It was the first air gun I ever had, given to me on my birthday. And from what I understand, it was the first air gun for many of you guys out there. And if you didn't own one of these, you may well have seen them at fun fairs where you could shoot them to win a prize. The GAT takes 177 pellets, as well as firing darts and corks, and the corks often appeared at the fairgrounds. These particular pellets I'm using are flathead. You load the GAT by pushing the barrel, Then you take the pin out of the back of the gun and load the pellet directly into the bridge. There is a handy safety catch uh, and I have in the past seen people put the safety level past the S marker for safe. But if you do that, it is still possible for you to fire the gun. So always keep it, if you have one of these, in front of the S. And then it's nice and secure. Now this is an original box of pellets that I brought not long after receiving my GAT. And as you can see, it still contains one solitary original dart. I've lost all the other darts, I've lost all the corks, I'm afraid. Now you can also see a dent in the lid of the tin. And this is where me and a friend tested the power of his air pistol, which wasn't a GAT, and this was the damage it did. I don't know what range that shot was fired, but it did a fair bit of damage to what is quite a strong piece of, of metal. So you can see a bit of paint damage on it. But it's in pretty good condition, given its age. And this is just a close-up of the pin that goes in the rear of the gun. Note the rubber washer that creates a seal. Okay, let's do some shooting. All that's done is created a bit of a dent in the top of the can. I'm going to shoot it again, aim a bit lower because that's the quite hard part of the can there, um, and see how we do. And that was from a distance of about four feet, so it's not doing a lot of damage. And if you can see, probably can't see that, but it hasn't uh, dented the pellet at all. Although I will throw that away because there might be a little bit of damage to it.
But as we can see, there is far more damage this time done. Straight through. And you can hear the pellet bouncing around inside. And that was from about the same distance of about four feet. Now, I was a bit further away that time, about 10 feet away, and I didn't get a bullseye. The GAT, in case you didn't know, is a low power gun, and this does affect the accuracy quite a bit. Uh, or I might also be a bad shot as well, so can't rule that out. As you can see, no damage has been done to the cushion either, though I do have to go and find the pellets that bounced off. So there is the GAT. It's not the greatest gun in the world, in fact, many of you out there might think it's a piece of rubbish. But I've got a lot of affection for it. And if you just want to do a bit of plinking around with a low power pistol, you can have some fun with this gun. Thanks for watching.